Hi, George here. The purpose of this video is to simply go over through a basic humidification system that you might find on a mechanical ventilator that you're using in your health region that you work at. So the one I want to show you is this particular one. I'm not going to identify the name, but you'll probably be able to see it on the ventilator. But I simply want to show you how it all kind of comes together so that when you've got your external circuit or your patient circuit hooked up on the ventilator and you incorporate the humidification system into it, you can understand why the different cords go into the different spots and what the function of the different pieces are as well when you're connecting that up. And then if you understand it, you'll have no problems trying to figure out how to put it together if you're in a panic situation trying to put the patient circuit onto the, the ventilator prior to the patient use. You can do it safely. Now when you're handling this equipment, make sure you've got the appropriate PPE on as well and make sure that you're doing this in a clean area so that you're not introducing any kind of potential contaminant into the system. Now let's take a look at the equipment that we're dealing with right over here. The first thing I want to show you is the humidifier itself. Some of the things on this particular humidifier, on off switch, a toggle switch to toggle between invasive ventilation and non-invasive ventilation. So you keep hitting this, it'll just simply toggle between the two and a light will indicate whether it's set to invasive, invasive for like an endotracheal tube or a tracheotomy tube or something like that that's invasively inserted into the patient or non-invasive if you're doing mask ventilation on your patient, non-invasive ventilation. Temperature screen right over here that shows you the temperature and also the alarm silence. So in terms of all the functioning pieces of this that you have to set or control, you don't really have that many. It's just simply on off, invasive versus non-invasive. Now on the side right over here, we've got these two ports. These are electrical ports for connecting the, the wires that we use to monitor temperature as well as to control temperature within the heat of wires of the circuit. So they're specific. One's color coded blue, one's color coded yellow as well. A little adapter or a slide on here that allows you to incorporate a bracket to hold this onto the ventilator itself. Power cord, so the humidifier has to be plugged in either into a power bar on the ventilator or directly into the wall outlet itself. This portion here, this is the heating plate. Okay, So this is kind of like a little heater or a little, little hot plate that you might be familiar with. It just simply heats up the, the uh, bottom of the, the pot that holds the water. This little blue thing pushes down, so when you attach the humidifier pot to it, it just simply slides in and locks into place. To remove the pot that holds the water, simply push down on the blue thing and slide your device out. And that's pretty well all the, the components of the humidifier. Just watch that if the humidifier is hot, don't place your hand on the, the hot plate right over here. Okay, So that's the humidifier itself. Now if we look at these cords, there's two different cords that are utilized with the type of circuit that functions with this type of humidifier. Now the first cord, it's a lot longer, and it's got these blue little probes on it. This cord here is specific for temperature detection. So it simply a, uh, has these probes on it, and the probes are used to read the internal temperature in the circuit at the patient end as well as at the humidifier. So what the humidifier does is it monitors the patient, as, monitors the gas as the gas leaves the humidifier and travels to the patient end. And then it monitors the temperature by the patient wire right over here. So the whole function of this humidifier is to ensure that condensation doesn't occur, doesn't occur inside the circuit. Now the circuits are called heated wire circuits. And what that means is inside the circuit, there's a heated wire on the inspiratory limb as well as on the expiratory limb. And the function of that wire is to simply generate heat inside the circuit. So there's no condensation or a rain out as the gas travels to the patient on inspiration as well as on exhalation. So the temperature sensors, these things here, fit inside the circuits themselves. Right? So it's important to understand where they go on the circuit. The other thing that we have right over here is this color-coded blue plug-in. This is the plug-in that goes into the humidifier. So when you're ready for use and you want the circuit to work properly, you need to take this, find the little indicator on it right over here, and line it up to the color-coded indicator on the blue color-coded port or female end and simply slide it in like so. Blue goes to blue, blue does not go to yellow. 
don't try to force it, it's not going to fit, and all you're going to do is damage the humidifier, or the wire, or both, both of them, okay? So that's where that one goes. Temperature sensing at the humidifier end, temperature sensing now at the patient end. So these get placed into the circuit that you'll be building and attaching to your ventilator to ventilate the patient with, okay? That's the temperature sensing probes. The next one is the shorter one, and it's color-coded yellow. Okay. It has two cords to it, specific cords. Now these cords plug into the back ends of your uh, circuit, your patient circuit, that are connected close to, well one's connected by the humidifier, the other one is connected to the expiratory valve or the expiratory connection on the ventilator. This yellow piece right over here, this color-coded yellow piece, goes into the humidifier's brain. Okay, where that plug-in is right over here. So when you're looking at these plug-ins, I'm not sure if you can see it really closely with the camera the way it's set up. Let's see this remote's working. The one on my left hand is triangular in shape and it's got three female ends inside of it. The one on my right hand, that's this hand here, it has two female ends. Okay. The one with the three uh, female ends, it's triangular in shape, this goes on the inspiratory circuit. The one that only has two prongs, or two uh, female ends, this one goes on to the expiratory circuit. So when you're hooking your ventilator up, make sure you've got the inspiratory limb by the humidifier. This one, that's got three probes, goes into the humidifier, uh, goes into the circuit on the humidification end. This one goes on to the circuit, the expiratory limb, by the ventilator. Okay. Now before you do that, you might want to have this connected, but it doesn't matter what order you do it in, just as long as it works for you. But the important thing is, make sure the indicator marks on this, indicator marks on this yellow color-coded plug line up with the indicator marks on the color-coded yellow insert area of the humidifier. So if we look at our humidifier here, I'll just zoom out a bit. Here's the yellow color-coded port for the plug. You'll see the indicator mark right over here. You just simply have to line them up and connect. Now you've got your wires properly hooked up to your humidifier. At this point in time, you'll take your humidifier pot that contains the water inside of it. You probably have a bag spiked already. Simply depress this button or this little tab right here and slide it in. When you slide it in, this pops back up, prevents the pot from coming off. Now all you have to do is connect your circuit up to the humidifier, the appropriate parts of the patient circuit to the humidifier. Plug these two, p these two plugs into the appropriate circuits themselves. Three prongs, inspiratory. Two prongs, expiratory. And then take these temperature sensors and hook them up to the appropriate ports within the circuit themselves and make sure the connections are nice and tight because otherwise gas can leak through them and it could affect the ventilator's function. And that's in essence how the humidification system, this particular humidification system, will work on a ventilator that has the humidifier installed on it. Okay. If you like this video, please hit like. If you disliked it, give me a thumbs down, but please, helpful suggestions how I can make these videos more entertaining or more beneficial for you. And if you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel. This is George, have a great day.